Hi there, Joey from powerhouseaffiliate.com. Today I wanna to talk about how to make over $150 every single day with Google search ads, and we're gonna be using a tool that one of our members recently shared inside our Powerhouse Affiliate Forum, and I'm excited to show this to you, and I'm gonna show you precisely how this is done. I'm gonna show you an example campaign that is profitable, and I'm gonna show you the landing page, the ads, and everything in this video, and you're gonna see it all right in front of your eyes. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the little bell icon so you're notified of all my future videos, and don't forget to sign up to our free newsletter at dayjobhacks.com. Let's get into my computer. I'm going to show you the tool. I'm going to show you how I'm making money with Google search ads using the paid ads on search engine results. Okay, so I'm going to show you this and then we're going to talk about it and how you can get access to more information on how to run these campaigns profitably. So let's go into my computer and I'll show you an example. So I have been running Google search ads for many years now. I've spent millions of dollars on search ads. There's other videos on my channel. In fact, I'll pop up a playlist and put the link in the description for you on other videos around Google Ads as an affiliate marketer. And I've also put a link down in the description for some more training on these methods, okay? But first of all, let me show you an example of a page that I would run. So basically, I've set up a blog here. It's called dayjobhacks.com. And you can see here I have it so that when people visit the website, I'm collecting a push subscriber using a plugin for WordPress. But at the same time, I'm doing a full review between Adpl Adplexity and Anstrex. These are two software programs that I'm an affiliate for. And these software programs pay me every time somebody signs up to these programs, okay? And the best part about these two software programs is that I get paid recurring commissions. And this is actually really important if you want to prolong the longevity of your campaigns. For example, I have money coming in for ads I ran months ago, and I'm still earning commissions from that because the people that have signed up to Adplexity or Anstrex have also you know, continue to use these products because they're good products and I recommend good products on my blog and that is why people continue to use them. And that is the, the, the broad theory of affiliate marketing. If you can pitch products that you believe in then and the actual products you use, not only will you get really good organic search results because Google will trust you and you'll get authority, but at the same time, your ads will convert better. Okay, so this is the page we're running. And you can see it's monetized a few different ways here, but the main strategy here is to get conversions for these two software programs. Now, the tool I'm talking about today is something that was shared inside of our forum at powerhouseaffiliate.com. You can get access to that form down below. But one of our members recently shared this spreadsheet, and I'm gonna go through it and show you the math behind how you should probably plan your next campaign if you're running search ads. And we're gonna talk about the keywords that I'm running currently for this campaign. I'm gonna show you why it's profitable, okay? So, the first thing we need to do is, first of all, look at this spreadsheet and understand what it's for. It's to help us plan the future of our campaign. A lot of people just run into paid ad campaigns, they spend a bunch of money and they wonder why it didn't work. And they don't understand that there are many different parts of your campaign that, that matter. There's a whole bunch of different things you need to consider when you're running paid ads, and that includes your landing page click-through rate, your ad click-through rates, the conversion rate of the offer you're actually running, what is it earning on average per click for other affiliates, is this a good offer? All of these things matter, and all of these things really can make a big difference in whether you are profitable or not. So we're going to go into this spreadsheet and I'm going to show you precisely how it works. So the first thing we want to do is look at the average commission. So the offer I am running is Adplexity. That is the one I really want to convert because it pays me more than the Anstrex. But I do get conversions on Anstrex. But at the end of the day, Adplexity is a better tool in my opinion. And that is what this post is telling people. As you go through this post, I'm really recommending Adplexity and I'm giving people a 30% discount on Adplexity because I have a special deal made with the owners of Adplexity. So you can see throughout my post, I am really hoping that people understand the value of Adplexity over Anstrex. So when I get a conversion, my average conversion right here is $85. So I'm gonna just put $85 as the average commission for this offer. 
Now the average conversion rate after running this for a while and uh, understanding how the offer works, the average conversion rate for this one is around two to 3%. That's being conservative. In fact, it's usually 3%, but I'm gonna put 2% just to be conservative here. Now, if you don't already know the conversion rate, you're gonna to have to ask your affiliate manager, you know, what's the average conversion rate that this offer is getting? So let's just say it's 2%. Now for clicks, I already have data. So this is gonna be great to show you the data because I already ran this and I'm running it now. It's live on my Google Ads account. But you can see here, um, here is some, some stats. So for 255 clicks, Let's just put 255, but if you're just gonna guess and you wanna do a test, say you wanna test a thousand clicks, then put a thousand clicks here, and that's gonna be your planned test for your next, um, your testing strategy. So this is actually something I mentioned in the forum that you could give to your media buyers if you're running a team, and you can say, look, I want you to do the research on these offers first, and then come back to me with your strategy, and we'll see if it makes sense and what the profit margin might be. So the landing page conversion rate, let me show you the data on that because I'm actually, what I'm doing here on this Google ads campaign is I'm actually targeting people that click through my blog post. So you can see here when you look at the conversions column, these conversions are actually people clicking on adplexity, okay, or Anstrax. It's, it's either or. So you can see here that my click-through rate then of my landing page, I've sent 255 people to my landing page. 87 of them have gone through to click through that landing page. So that works out to 87 divided by 255 equals, so about a 34% click-through rate on my landing page for just those two offers, okay? So I'm gonna put 34 here for my click uh, landing page conversion rate or click-through rate here. Now the offer clicks that I got is about 86.7 now, you can see here, and that's precisely what we have here, 87, which is rounded up. So the cost per click we already have, but if you had to plan ahead, you could use the Google tool here. You could go to Google Tools Keyword Planner and you could find out what the average cost per click is based on data that Google has for a top position or a bottom position and they'll give you estimates and you could use that while you're first planning your campaigns. But since I've already ran this, I already know the average cost per click and here it is 26 cents Canadian and you can see I have a bunch of keywords in here, uh, about uh, 21 keywords in here all around 26 cents. So I'm gonna put that in here at a, a 0.26 cents per click. So the average cost here was $66. Let's see if that matches up here. Uh, $66 and 22 cents. You can see that is precisely right around what we have here. It's probably doing a little roundup again. So on average, I would have gotten two conversions for a revenue 170. Since I got two conversions here, I had to make a little adjustment here. There was a little adjustment on the roundup. So it is 170 in revenue. So the profit loss would have been $103.70 because I spent $66.30 on my ads. I got 170 back, meaning my profit was this. Now the refund rate has been a zero, so I'm gonna leave it at zero. And even if you want it to be a little more conservative, you could put a 1% here, one in a hundred, but really my refund rate is not affected here because I'm not getting charged for refunds. So you can put a zero here. However, other affiliate programs may charge you like ClickBank. So you would have to put your refund rate in here and that would also calculate your refunds. So now, we, as you can see here, my total profit for this so far is $103 with an earnings per click of $1.96. Now, of course, this was a lot easier for me because I had the data and I'm already running it, but it's just an example of showing you precisely how this works so that if you can start planning your campaigns ahead, you can start seeing if there is a potential of losing right away. You can look at the numbers and understand, okay, well, with this conversion rate and this payout, and that average cost per click, it's really gonna be hard for me to make money with this, so let's try something else and look at different planning strategies. Now, some of the tools you can use that I've explained in our course down below is you know, uh, SEM Rush to get more data on what people are running already. You can also look at the Google Search Ads uh, Keyword Planner and you can start planning your keywords accordingly and what the cost per click is there, and that'll help as well. So remember, this is just upfront 
profits for me on this campaign. Remember that these two customers may again get charged next month if they decide to stick around and use the product again. And that would result in me getting more commissions. So maybe my commissions will double, but usually on average about 30 to 40% of people will continue till month two and that percentage keeps going down. So you need to keep refreshing with new customers. This is how you can make a serious profit running Google ads as an affiliate marketer. If you want more information or you want to check out my other videos, don't forget to go down below. Don't forget to come into our forum and check out this cool tool you can get access to in the forum and have your comments if you want to talk about it and ask questions, please do. And thanks again to the user who shared this. I hope I did it justice by showing people how it works and hopefully it will be helpful to other people running search ads. I know I will be using it for my own campaign planning and I've already given it to one of the people that works for me in finding new ideas for campaigns to run as we continue testing new stuff. So thanks again for watching. Talk to you later.